Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today, just the tip, and only for a minute, mind you, might come to like it. Like I tell the wife, you want a quickie or the full two minutes? Wherein my daughter comes running out of our room, yeah, I want a cookie too. <laughs> so, a young fella asked me to do a Halloween, All Hallows Eve video. Sorry, brain fart there. Uh, on account of him wanting to do a quick and dirty strobe light. So, well, I can only assume it's going to be quick and dirty if you're asking me to do some electronicals. So this is that. The quickest, dirtiest, MacGyveringest, out of the scrap bin, strobe -a light you'll ever see. Now you stumble out of the start gate, you find yourself a slow day at work, you get yourself a government job, you go into your scrap bin. You got to get yourself a little relay. This is the hardest part. You got to get a LED cob and you got to get a couple capacitors. But that's okay. Everybody's got a scrap bin and these things... They're jelly bean parts are everywhere. Just never throw anything away. Then you get yourself a step in the stool and harvest nine volt batteries. The secret is not getting caught. Pulling out the CAD suite, starting where all good projects must. Not to be confused with that far superior version. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. We're going to build ourselves a relay oscillator. Okay, so mildly annoyed. Maybe they didn't sleep well. Pixies go in out of the battery, the plus, go through, because that's the way pixies travel. Don't let anybody tell you about this electron theory nonsense. It goes through the relay coil. This is an inductor. This makes a magnetic field what pulls the contacts over. So we energize that. It goes through this little LED here in order to tell us it's orn. Now we have to swap that around because it's, it's blocked off. So we actually got to do like so. Then it goes into a capacitor. That a capacitor resists change in voltage. It, we, we use this as a little tiny battery. This is a, so we actually have two batteries. We got the nine volt uh, electrolytic cell, and we have a no the nine volt electrochemical cell, and we have this electrolytic capacitor in here. This we're acting as a little battery. So what happens? Okay, so when the field gets strong enough, this chooch is over to here. Now. These pixies ain't got nowhere to go. This field starts to collapse. So we start pulling energy out of here to keep this field strong enough so that the contact stays over. After this has chooched her last, no more pixies in here, then the contact scoots back over and it energizes again. So what we got is a very rapid weeble wobble. Wait a Sam Jesus engineer is always screwing up the drawing. He says the best laid battle plan only survives until contact with the enemy. This is not going to work because the diode is a one way check valve. So pixies get in, but they can't get out. <laughs> so we'll just do the old number one gauge field revision bubble. Whoop, and we'll change that over so that that is in parallel with the thing. I think that'll work. If not, when we do the experimentation, we'll, f we'll figure it out then. For no other reason than the defense of brevity, we <laughs> omitted the LED. I just can't figure it out right now. It's too much cognitive load and so forth. Okay, here we go. Also, we can hear the Jesus thing chooching. Check it out, yo. Uh, you got to get the polarity right. Yeah, positive. Okay. So this should work. Why are you no work? What the fuck? Oh, oh. Because like that. Duh. There we go. Huh? Huh? Now the hard part, integrating this 30 volt forward voltage LED cob chip on board. So there is, there's no chips involved in this. But there is this LED chip, but it doesn't count because it's a passive. There's, so there's no brain box here. Hey, no, uh, like this is just, it's, it's fucking perfect for me because it's dead nuts dumb. So what we're going to do here is we get the plus 36 volts. We're going to put that on the comm. That's this guy here. That's center post. Oh, sorry. That's this guy here. That's center post. We're going to put the plus 36 volts on that comm. On the normally open contact that's this guy we're gonna put the LED cob in the correct orientation this time 
and then that's just going to go straight to ground. You notice we haven't tied the grounds together. So even though this is running 9 volts and we put 36 volts to it essentially at the coil, we're not going to blow anything up because circuit. The pixies are constrained to this circuit. They're a little bit angried up and the, the mildly annoyed ones are constrained to this circuit because the grounds aren't connected. And the 9 volts in parallel, how convenient, like Lego they are. And we've also added, increased the chooch factor by adding a single pole latching switch to the control side. Ooh, la fancy. And now we are going to check how much amp, how much current is going through here. Key or tact. Hmm. I wonder if that fuse is blown. Jeezless fruit piece of junk. Sure enough. Now that is brighter as frig, but we're not, you might be seeing a little pulse there, but we're having a, a wee bit of a problem in that it's not staying off long enough to get the proper pulse effect. That's okay. That's okay. That's why dog made erasers. Also, if you want to change the speed, you can, if, if you want it to go faster, you decrease the capacitance. If you want it to go slower, you, and you got to get, if you want it to go slower, you add capacitance. Not a problem. Relays, cheap like Borsch. We'll piggyback this relay so that it fire this guy, fires this guy. Fun's fun, but we're not quite at the seizure-inducing nausea stage, so I've gone and reduced the capacitance here. Smaller capacitor. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Now, if you're curious about how this, uh, well, what kind of schematic and so forth, I will put it in a card at the end. Thanks for watching. Keep your deck, I mean, well, uh oh what happened? What happened? What the fuck over? Ah, so I see the battery is dying. It hasn't got enough to charge both those relays in series. To the step stool. Ooh, spooky. Nothing says Halloween like little kids in grandma epileptic fits on your front yard.